Liz here from Where Wild Ones Roam. Welcome to our channel if you are new here and welcome back if you are returning. Today we have a special tour and we are going to show you how we have this RV set up for baby coming. I'm currently 36 weeks, so let's see how we have transformed our master bedroom yet again to prepare for baby. If you are new here, our RV has been our home on wheels for the last four years. And this year we're really excited to be converting our master bedroom, which is a toy hauler space in our Fusion 424, into a little nursery nook um, to prepare for this baby that's coming. So let's take a tour around. I'll show you kind of how we have things set up, where we are planning on putting things, and how we're accommodating the floating bed that comes up and down along with baby back here. So let's get started. All right, so for baby, we are utilizing um, a cube system for his dresser, quote unquote. Um, it does hold a lot more than just clothes. Um, so let's take a deeper dive into what we have over here. Um, we are trying to keep things pretty simple for baby um, with moving every week and all of that kind of stuff. As a traveling family, we want to kind of keep things um, as minimal as possible and only getting things as we need them. So um, obviously we're not going to have like all of the things right now for like baby's first year. We're only going to keep what is age appropriate for the time being and then move up as we need to. So keeping things pretty simple with the you know, with the notion that the bed does come up and down, um, the top does kind of have to stay pretty simple. Um, so just up here, some greenery and a couple baskets for like passies and clothespins for our drying rack for outside, um, as well as a basket for all of those quick, handy grab and go things like lotions and brushes and health and safety items, if you will. But um, more of his stuff lives in the baskets inside of the cube. All right, so don't mind the birth ball here. Um, if it comes rolling out, it tends to have a mind of its own sometimes. Um, in our baskets, I have organized these by um, themes of essential items. So um, we have a basket full of clothes. Now these are only newborn to three month clothes. Um, we do have a stash of three to six month clothes stored away in our attic space, which is the loft above the uh, kitchen area, not a full attic. Um, I do have a basket for nursing and feeding essentials, um, a basket for baby wearing because we will be mostly wearing the baby instead of dragging around a stroller all the time. Um, that might change as he gets a little bit older, but um, for now, baby wearing will be what we do. And then I have a basket down here full of books and toys. Um, and that one will grow, obviously, as baby gets older. Right now, I just have a few high contrast books and a couple of teethers initially. Babies don't need much when they're so tiny. So that will eventually fill up as he continues to get older. And then finally, kind of tucked away in this back corner, you'll see kind of a collection of baskets back here. We do have our laundry hamper, um, which has always lived back here. Um, and our older kids also use this hamper. Um, we have a basket for blankets and pillows that we can actually take outside on our back porch um, for those nice fireside you know, evenings that we want to chill out there. And then we do have a smaller basket for baby's hamper. Um, so that'll just mainly be used for um, you know, all of his clothes and bedding and stuff like that that needs a regular wash. All right, so on the opposite half of our nursery nook, um, we have opted to start with a bassinet um, for baby. And this will be mostly used during the day for nap times and some of that um, kind of daytime sleeping. Um, at night, we do plan to co-sleep with him in the bed. Um, we'll show you that in a minute and kind of what that setup is going to look like. But for now, as the cat is so awesomely showing, um, this will be baby's bassinet. Now we can move the bassinet over once the bed is down as well. So don't worry, baby's not going to be under the bed when the bed is down. <laughs> um, that will be moved out if we need to. Next to the bassinet, we do have a cart from Ikea. Um, these carts are great. You guys know, um, this cart is mainly for diapering and I kept all of his diapering stuff in a cart so we can move it wherever we need to go. Um, as you notice, we didn't have really a changing table. Um, there's really no space for one. And with this being baby number three, we know that being flexible in such a tiny space of 
where to change baby is kind of an essential part of this. So the diapering cart can go where we need to go and where baby is, um, no matter who's changing him throughout the house. So um, you'll also notice that we are doing cloth diapers. This is a choice that we have decided to make. Um, this will be our second time around with cloth, um, so we're not new to it. But because we do have laundry on board in the RV, we did make the decision to go ahead and do cloth diapers. Um, if we were still doing laundry in the camping laundry mats, I can tell you this probably wouldn't even be a discussion. We probably would just go with disposable diapers. Um, but since we have laundry on board, we were able to make the choice of going cloth this time around as well. Alright, so um, I pulled the bassinet over and now we're going to drop the bed to show you kind of what that looks like and also show you how we're planning on co-sleeping in our bed. Alright, so especially in those early newborn days, um, baby will be spending a lot of time in bed with us. Um, so we do have some organization built in up here. Andy's done a great job to build us kind of a headboard box um, where I will keep a bedside basket full of those kind of nighttime essentials. Um, so this is what it looks like. Um, a couple of cloth diapers, wipes, you know, kind of all of the essentials, the haka, um, a changing pad for on the bed. I do also have a bed pad. Um, so that when we're nursing at night or changing him in the bed overnight, then if accidents happen, it's really easy to swap that bed pad out instead of stripping down our sheets every single time. Um, we also have a nightlight for up here. Super simple, um, just a one tap and it's on. And it's also really easy and really nice at night. It's not too bright um, or too dim and it can be adjusted as well. So really nice little touches for when baby is here, especially in those first few weeks. Now baby will be going between the bed and his bassinet that is next to us. Um, but you know, those early days, it's really important to establish kind of that, that bonding and um, those really close relationships with babies. So he'll be in the bed with me for the majority of the time over those first transitional weeks. All right, well, that's it for our very simple nursery nook tour, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for joining me today. Um, we will leave all of the links to the items that we can find for you guys down below in the description, so be sure to check those out if you are interested in any of the things that you saw in today's video. Other than that, hope to see you guys on the road, and stay safe out there. Bye.